How you doing, Jack? I'm fine. What is all this? I called Dr. Newman over. You were having one of your episodes again last night. Look, Jack, I know this must be difficult, but we're just trying to help you. Now, have you been taking the medication that I prescribed? I don't see a reason to take any medication. No reason. Dude, you keep seeing things that don't exist. I know what I saw. What I saw was real. I have no doubt that you believe what you saw was real, but it's all in your head. In my head, huh? So you think I'm crazy? No, that's not, that's not what I said. I'm just trying to help you get better. Well, I don't need your help, so maybe it's best if you just leave. I'm really sorry about that, Doc. <laughs> Ever since our parents died, it's been hell for the both of us. I really don't know what to do anymore. Seems like he's only getting worse. Jeff, you don't need to apologize. I mean, I know what schizophrenia can do to families. This is taking a big toll on you. You know, I'm gonna do everything that I can to help your brother get through this. Now, what I need from you is to make sure that he takes his medication. Because if he doesn't, I'm afraid that the delusions will get worse. I will, Doc. Thanks again for everything. Well, I'll check back on you guys in a couple days. In, in the meantime, call me if you need anything. Jack, did you take your pill? Did you hear what I said? Hey man, I'm talking to you. I told you before, man, I'm not taking those pills. You heard what Dr. Newman said. Dr. Newman, Dr. Newman. I am so sick of you guys treating me like I'm some kind of a nutcase. And you know what I'm sick of? I'm sick of seeing my little brother crippled by the fear that something is out to kill him. Look, man. You heard what the doc said. If you don't take these pills, you're only going to get worse. Please. I'm begging you.
You scared the shit out of me. You alright, man? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. Good night. I made coffee. Thanks. How did you sleep? Not bad. You were up again last night. What happened? Nothing. I just needed to use the bathroom. Really? I'm pretty sure you're having one of your episodes again. I told you, I just need to use the bathroom. Cut the bull crap. You haven't been taking your pills. What do you mean? I found them this morning in the trash can. You think you're doing yourself any good? What is it gonna take for you to accept your condition? You know what? You want me to accept my condition? Okay. I'll accept it. Dude, he keeps saying things that don't exist. It's all in your head. What? What is it? It's here. I saw it again. Look, there's nothing here. Just calm down. Let me get you some water. No, no, please. Don't leave me here. I'm right here. I'm just going to get you some water. We got to get out of here, man. We got to get out of here. Okay. All right. We'll get out of here. Dr. Newman, it's me, Jeff. I need you to come down here right away. I don't think those pills are working. Well, Jeff, Jeff. Um, you know, he just started taking them. You know, you have to remember that, that it's going to take a little bit of time before they, they start working. He thinks someone's trying to kill him. And I, I, can't, I can't calm him down. All, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. All right. Hi, Jack. What are you feeling right now? We're in danger. We gotta get out of here. Jack, listen to me. There's no danger here. It's just me and your brother and you having a nice conversation. You don't understand! We're in danger! I'm afraid I can't help him anymore. Uh, Jeff, I didn't say this earlier, but I do feel he needs to be taken into a specialized facility. I'm gonna call in for 5150. <whistles> e excuse me, I have to take this call.
Hey, honey. Yeah, I'm still at work. Uh, I should be home soon, though. Yeah, I'm still with a patient right now. I'm not sure how long it'll be, but it, it shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, wow, her fever's that high? Poor thing. Well, tell her I love her and I'll be home very soon. Okay, love you. Stay here. I'll be right back. My name is Jack Rivers. Listen, there's someone in the house and she's trying to kill us all. You hang in there, okay? Sheriff's on his way right now. Just hang in there. Hunter, we had a double homicide, possibly more. I need assistance right away. Freeze! Drop the knife, son. Sheriff, you don't understand. There's a killer inside. I said drop the fucking knife! Hey, Angela, what do you got? Sheriff Hunter, we just got some DNA results from the crime scene, and I thought you might want to hear this. What is it? Well, the blood on the suspect's knife doesn't match any of the victim's blood. 
Sheriff? Well, then whose blood is it? <laughs>